Hello dear friends, welcome back to your favorite channel, where we bring you trending and interesting news from around the world. May I quickly encourage you to please subscribe to this channel if you are yet to subscribe. Please kindly hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. Endeavor to share these new stories with your friends, family, relations and loved ones so they can get to know what is happening around the world and be informed. Thank you so much guys, I appreciate your support and I'll see you guys on the other news. The leader of the umbrella body of the Yoruba self-determination groups, Ilana Omo Odua, Professor Banchi Akintoye, on Thursday in Ibado or your state, the, said that Nigeria is reinventable, but must first be renegotiated. He also tasked Yorubas to rise in defense of their ancestral lands against auspopation by the Fulani headers under any disguise. Akintoya, who spoke during the 135th anniversary of the Kiriji Peace Treaty, organized by the Afenifer Renewal Group, ARG, and the Yoruba Assembly at the House of Chiefs. A your state secretariat contended that there is no difference or disagreement between those who want to restructure and those seeking self-determination. Represented by Dr. Tunde Hamzad, he averred that it is the third force that wants to divide us. We are all in the same contraption called Nigeria. Both, we must stand against bloodshed. The Fulanis have collaborators among us. According to Akintoye, criminal herders are already in our land. Let us guide our lands against any form of usurpation. No single group can handle it. Don't fight anyone opposing your position. Though Ilana Omo Odua does not support the IPOB, because we don't want bloodshed. Nigeria is reinventable, but it must first be renegotiated. We must keep standing in what we believe, irrespective of oppression and harassment. We must forge ahead in all conditions. I am reminding you that Article 1 of the Peace Treaty, signed in 1886 by our forefathers, says, There shall be peace between Obas, Balas, and their subjects. Earlier in his remark, the chairman of Afeniferi Renewal Group, Comrade Wale Osho, lamented growing insecurity that has forced the majority of farmers to abandon their farmlands, thereby causing the astronomical rise in prices of food items. Farming is a preoccupation in the southwest. But no peace of mind for our farmers again. We want peace and unity. Politicians in our region, irrespective of party affiliations, should work for the greatness of the Yoruba he posited. Alright guys, what are your thoughts concerning this particular news story as it were? The truth is that Nigeria can be reinvented. That is just the truth. We must not shy away from it, no matter our position, no matter what we feel. 
Nigeria can be reinvented. So Nigeria is reinventable. But, as it has been rightly said in this article, it has to be renegotiated. The binding factor has to be renegotiated. The constitution has to be rewritten. There has to be dialogue, there has to be agreement, and the constitution has to be rewritten. Take it or leave it. The constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria is the bane of what this country is going through and suffering today. It's actually the bane of what Nigerians are see are suffering. Until this particular um, document is renegotiated and rewritten where every ethnic group in this country has a say. The percentage of the sharing of allocations or what have you has to also be agreed. The devolution of powers has to be thorough and total. States should be encouraged to take care of themselves and not wait for allocation from the federal government before they can pay salaries, before they can do a lot of things or carry out infrastructural projects. Healthcare, education, all this has to be thoroughly discussed, agreed upon. A perfect and you know wonderful uh, pathway has to be charted, where everybody feel he or she has something to offer. So, way beyond all this, we must, as a people understand that it is important that if we must keep this country together Nigeria as one if we all must remain as one and no longer go our separate ways as a lot of people are already opining then the country has to be renegotiated there has to be a whole level of restructuring or else we may just be wasting our time well, what are your thoughts guys please drop by at the comment section and let's know what your thoughts are don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you are yet to subscribe please kindly hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories and never to please share these new stories with your friends family relations and loved ones so they can get to know what is happening around the world and be informed. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate your support. And I'll see you on the other news. Thank you and bye for now.